M0FXB Handtech, welcome to my channel. I had a question about the Kenwood D74, and the question was, what is a PRS, what is a Digipeter, and what is iGate? So the best way is just to look at the manual. APRS, this function uses the APRS format for data communication, including your station, position, messages, ETC. When data is received from another station directly via Digipeters and or iGate stations, the direction of the received station from your station's perspective, their distance and their grid square located is displayed. Any comments sent by the other station are also displayed. APRS stands for Automatic Packet Reporting System. Digipeter relays digital packet data. When a digipeter receives a packet, it saves it to memory. When the reception ends, the packet data is retransmitted on the same frequency using digipeters. It is possible to exchange APRS packets long distance. iGate, that stands for Internet Gateway, is a very useful and important feature for APRS as well as digipeter. iGate stations bridge APRS packets between RF and the Internet. By going through the iGate stations, you can enjoy the communication with the further distant stations which are not covered only in Digipeters. Digipeter stations and iGate stations are operated by the volunteer people in the region. So let's look at some of the basic settings you would put in your D75, D74. So number one, just type 500 on your keypad. So I've got my D74 here. On the right hand side, we'll just point out You've got the icons there that you can use when you when you select the icon that you want for APRS. So let's do the first one. Type 500. To access menu numbers, so they've put here 500, you do press the menu button first, then 500. And it takes you there. You can go, there's another way to go. You can just press menu and the, go up and down the list, but this takes you straight there. So we're just going to delete that call sign that's there because it's not been set yet. You can see clear is shown here on the screen. So just click the AB where it says clear. And then just clear that down just by pressing the enter. And then start to turn and put in your call sign M. A bit boring, but M. And then you move along with the right keypad. Turn backwards till you get the zero. A bit annoying with all these numbers. F, then X. I'm just turning the very top knob. Entering with the middle, with the sort of toggle that says enter. I'm not quite done yet. Moving across and then B. And we will put the flat line in. Sorry about this. Right, we're there finally. Yeah, if you turn, you'll, eventually you'll see the flat line. Go across. I'm just going to put in seven for now. There you go. Enter. That's our call sign in there. Right, scroll down to the next section. Click down one, the down arrow, and then press it, and you've got all these icons to choose from. So I've just chose a person, but you can choose other items. As you can see, if you do a car for a change, and then enter. Go up to it. Will it let me do that? Oh, we need a, a forward and back arrow, do we? Symbol. 
Let's exit. It's not letting me select that a minute. Let's go back. There you are. It's in there, car. So you just go back. You don't press enter. Position comment. Enter. And then I'm just going to leave it as in service. Status text. Enter. Status text. You can actually go down to text and start typing. I'm just going to just put in high for now. Let's scroll down with the manual. So as you go down, see the numbers 502, 503. A warning there about emergency then it says select the proportion of times to transmit the status text when the APRS beacon is transmitted you can select off or one to one to one to eight okay I've never used that walking around long back is that what it says enter your status yeah we just did that that looks nice with the blue screen all right let's just enter our message Packet path. So packet path, just go past that one. And data speed is 1200. Data band, let's use the B band. So we'll enter. We we'll use B. Go straight past DCD and TX delay. APRS lock, going to go past that. Got our call sign in. 1200 A and B band going down. Now it can get very advanced. There's so much you can do with with APRS. Let's keep it just basic now. So we'll just go we'll back out. We'll just do it on the B band. We type in our frequency by pressing Enter. One four four eight hundred in the USA. I think it's three ninety one four four. 390 to turn on the uh, APRS you go F then I'm pretty sure it's 5 no wrong one no it is right you press you have to make sure you're in FM mode you just change the mode just here top left just make sure you can actually access access HF digital but anyway you want FM and now when you go F5 it will toggle through now we want we do want APRS 12 but if we go F5 again you've got KISS which is a type of TNC F5 turns it off and then F5 again it's turned it on So we've left it at APRS 12, but now we need to go into GPS because without a GPS lock or position, it's not going to work. So go to menu, go to the satellite, basic settings, and see it says built in GPS. Select that. Now just make sure it's on. Back. My position. Now I've selected. To use a manual position now if you turn the top knob there's your GPS so if you've got a GPS lock that's fine you just select that otherwise you have to turn it to the right see that and you type in you can name it let's just press enter you can give it a name if you want otherwise just go down and start to just enter your position so if you enter and then select north and then you don't type on the keypad, you go up and down with the arrows and then go across and across until you get your position. Enter and go down one. Again, you can press enter, choose your north or east. You can see your IO number there changing as well. Then go along, up and down and then enter. And then the final thing is just to make sure that you, when you go back, 
that it says use on the top right okay because you want that to be in use my position use okay if we go back and we had a GPS lock you could select use now and it would use that but we haven't got that so but that's the easiest way to do it when you're out and about that will work okay let's go back to position menu so I'll just show you again how to turn on the APRS go F5 gone to kiss F5 the next thing is just to tell it how we want to transmit so go menu go to APRS beacon TX enter method we've got manual there you can select auto and you can and you can um, tell it to you know transmit in at intervals we've got manual so we'll go back menu I can see it's turned itself off so we go F5 that's back on and now if we just press number six which is beacon You'll see the beacon come out. Let me grab a different radio and then we'll show it doing it. Right, let's hit beacon. So that's me faffing. It's number six. And there you are. We've beaconed to the FT5. Let's go back the other way. So on the FT5, we'll go F. There's a little beacon square there. Ta da! And that's it, that's basic APRS. Let's have a look at the intervals section. Go back to the APRS menu. Beacon control. Method. Enter. Auto. And then we'll put the interval at about five minutes. Which I wouldn't do it that often. I'd do it, if I was you, about every half hour. Well, for test, let's do one minute and then we'll change it. So in theory, if you press beacon now, we just sent that one. Let's wait, I'll pause it, but let's wait a minute and see if it does it again. And then the other thing is that, you know, there's a mass, there's so much more to what you can set. If you look on the left here, I'll put the link into the manual. If you look at the APRS menu, have a look at all these settings here. It's just endless. QSY, smart beaconing waypoint packet filter messages notifications so there's a lot to learn let's see if it's if it beacons automatically and then we'll end the video yeah and it just did so hopefully that'll give you an idea read the, read the manual watch a few other videos don's obviously made lots of really good videos and just enjoy learning that's what i do bye for now thanks for watching my channel and Remember, I, I am just learning in front of you. I'm not really teaching. I'm just learning and having fun. Seven free.